time. But even my mother's 86, if I die, she's going to get some money. For all she put up with me all those years. <laughs> my spouse is going to get some money. And my daughter, who's no, still no, dependent, no, she's going to get some money too. So those are gifts of love. And uh, that's why they call it life insurance, because we're really leaving it for, for somebody who's going to need shelter. They're going to need food. They're going to need clothing. And uh, I think some of you have heard me say this before. Uh, back in 1970, when I started, I almost failed out of business numerous times. And I kept saying I was going to quit. And I said, no, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to try one more time. And finally, something happened where I got a little religion, I guess you might say. And that is I had somebody call me up who I sold a policy to a few months earlier. And it was a young lady whose husband got killed in an auto accident. And I settled that death claim. And it was, a, it was an eye opener at the very least. Because everybody was coming to her with their hand out. Okay? I was coming with the solution. I had to check. It was a really big sale back in those days. It was $100,000. And that was enough to take care of the mortgage payments and pay the groceries and pay the light bills and put the kids to school and all the things that if he hadn't bought that policy, might not have happened. Okay, what I was really asked to do is to read a letter. And actually, I didn't write this. My father, as I told you yesterday, was my mentor. He came into business in 1952. Uh, he was a great mentor. He was not very educated. He didn't have a master's degree. He didn't have a college degree. In fact, he barely had a high school degree because he was in the World War II and went in the Navy. But he was a very smart man, and most of all, he believed very, very strongly in what he did. He had an agency with 60 guys all in one location. Uh, actually, more, a little more than 60, but all, just about all 60 of them were million-dollar roundtable members. So and it was because of what he had transferred to them. And he was asked to speak in front of the National Association of Life Underwriters in 1971 in Washington, D.C. And he had to write a little speech. And this is what he wrote. And I've kept this on my desk for the last 45 plus years. And uh, I'm just going to read it. It's kind of small print because back then they used to type this kind of stuff. <laughs> and it's not like the computers where you can make the fonts a little bit bigger. So if I stumble through, let's hope it's not up there. You won't be able to see if I make a mistake or not. But the title of this is called My Profession. You and I do. It says, I'm proud of my job and the power it gives me over other people's destinies, as well as my own. Most people do not recognize the dignity of my job and the power of my profession. Except in my own field, the acclaim I receive for my achievement is meager. When I finish my job and pass on, I shall die unheralded and unsung, but think of the heritage I shall leave. Already the estates I have created run into the millions, and if I live long enough, there will be millions and millions more that I shall have created, and much of it will go to those who but for me would have been destitute. Hundreds of widowed mothers will be kept from menial labor because of my work. Little girls will be raised in the home with their moms, and little boys will receive educations to launch them into manhood because I have lived. Tired old men will retire to face the West with income as long as they live. I shall have saved for them their self-respect. Even the men renowned as outstanding successes need us and need us badly. In the solution of the economic problems of life, I have the world's greatest power. I and I alone can give men time to accomplish their financial success if they are wealthy and leaders at the quarter and at the half and at the three quarters i and i alone can guarantee them success at the terminal to no one in the world has god given such power except to you and to me my fellow life underwriters what you do is the most important job in the world every time you sell a life insurance policy You've taken care of somebody that somebody loves. Thank you.